Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, a bit of background. Uh, I've been riding an electric unicycle around, and because I'm cheap, I need to get battery packs because they die eventually, right? And so, I mean, sometimes they die, and uh, then I have to tear them apart and start um, replacing cells, right? And that requires uh, spot welding of these nickel strips onto the cells. And yeah. So, like I said, I was cheap. I tried to solder at first, and uh, stuff like this happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slow motion. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that happened. And um, so, I needed a spot welder, right? And uh, there, were, there are plenty of instructions online on how to make one out of a microwave oven transformer. And so being the cheap guy I am, I go and start making one instead of buying one, right? And so I came across this link on AliExpress, which is a spot weld controller. It's literally set up so that you can wire a microwave oven transformer to it. Yeah. It is good. I have tested it. It works. So um, the way it works is that this little board here accepts uh, AC power from this wire. Um, then this little transformer here is stepped down to 9 volts alternating current. And um, that powers the board. It will rectify the voltage and use it to power its own electronics, etc. Right? And then over, over here, it switches the, the primary side of the large transformer. Um, so it's basically like an SSR. It switches a small amount of current and it waits for the wave to cross zero volts in order to switch. And um, this is the transformer. It's a, it's a microwave oven transformer. Originally, it's a step-up transformer, right? It goes from 240 volts to something kilovolts. And so you rip out the primary coil. I mean, sorry. You rip out the secondary coil, keep the primary coil in place, and then wind your own wire, which is this zero-gauge wire. Yeah. Uh, zero-gauge wire comes from downstairs. There's a shop at the corner there that sells it for quite cheap. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah this is a great location. Um, so yeah, so um, that's a step down transformer, and it converts two forty volts, thirteen amps into two volts and many amps, something like a thousand, maybe eight hundred. Yeah, yeah. So sorry. Drive the circuit. The the red. Oh, no, 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 the, the controller is only nine, uh, is a 9 volt thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, It's driven by the small transformer. The large transformer is what welds. So, after the, this red wire, right, it just goes directly to the probes. Yeah, so, um, do you all know what spot welding is? No. Okay, so spot welding is uh, also known as resistance welding. It's when you pass a huge amount of current through the two metals, through the joint that you are trying to make. And because you are passing something like 1000 amps, uh, it heats up very quickly in a localized spot and it welds just that spot. So we use it on lithium ion batteries because it doesn't introduce too much heat into the battery. Because you know, you heat a lithium ion battery and it goes boom. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, so how much does it hit? Hmm? How much does it hit? Because obviously it the can melt. Ups is yeah, it can melt you. So uh, it's about I don't know. Eight hundred degrees, thousand degrees. I don't know. It also softens this thing. So yeah, thousand degrees sounds about right. Um, this is the spot welding probe. Um, I got very very lazy with uh, making the spot welding probes. So like. Usually you get something like um, I don't know so something more atas looking like this, right? But I was very lazy, so I took this zero gauge wire. 
it's a strand, stranded wire. I stripped a bit of rubber, I stuffed the probe in, and then I clamped it shut. Yeah, and it works. Yes. So, um, I can give a demo, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just disconnect in case. Yeah? yeah. Oh, oh um, I should cover a bit of the functionality of this controller board. Alright. So, so, the controller board, right, it comes with this rotary encoder thing, uh, which is also a button. Right, so um, you cycle between these six options: time one, current one, spacing, time two, current two, and welding. Uh, so, the first two options are the um, the time and current of the first pulse. Then there's an interval, and then time and current of the second pulse. And then the last button is to load and save profiles. So, uh, why do you need two pulses? It's because when you press the metals together, they are hard and you cannot get a proper joint at first. So you heat it up first, it softens, it gets closer, and then you weld it properly. So it has to be, so it's not like you can do it. Zzz, 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 zzz. Yeah, you can, do, you, you can do that, but it's not as good as a dual pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a dual pulse controller. Also, it, it, from, from your point of view as a human, it's just one pulse. Just Correct. It's very fast. Uh, it happens within uh, 100 to 200 milliseconds. Oh, and it's enough to hit it and yeah, yeah, yeah. close it. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, that's right. And then after that, you can touch the joint and it's not hot. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, um, did you try touching the joint, actually? Uh, yeah, I did. I burnt myself once, but um, that was because I did many, many joints uh, in succession. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to. Do, yeah, if you do, do the in succession, maybe you shouldn't be yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you, you weld, you let it cool, and then you weld again, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, right. So what is interesting is, you know, uh, stuff that's not documented, uh, is that, oh dear. When you play with a spot welder, so much current goes through these wires that they start to push each other apart. And um, nickel strips uh, lying on the table will also like sort of jump around. So this is not safety feature, it's unintentional? No, it's unintentional. In fact, I think I will move my, my laptop away. <laughs> what? Is this a kind of inductive effect? Or? Um, so you know your right hand rule? Current goes this way, magnetic field goes this way. Yeah, 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 that. So, let's see. This is a nickel strip. You fold it a bit so that you can sort of get a joint. Put it in a clamp. And uh, so, yeah, I have made one design flaw with this and that is that I need two hands to hold this and I need like my chin or something to hit that yeah it's uh, should I press or <laughs> yeah, yeah hang on hang on um, I'm getting ready okay so yes press press the green button can I really press? Yes, yes, go ahead. Whoa! That's it. Oh, it's cool. It's cool? Yeah. And that's your weld. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Questions? <laughs> it's heavy, leh. Oh, it's here. Okay, 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 okay. So, so Can consider. Uh, it's like so short. I mean, yeah. based on the picture, I expected to see like oh. brace. Right. Pro yeah. yeah. Why is it so short? Um, okay, so. Well, it, it's a spot welder, and because I've wound so little car, I mean, I've done so little windings through uh, for the secondary coil. It only has two volts, right? 
something like two volts. So you know the the your welding current is going to be two volts divided by the total resistance in the entire path. I wanted as thick a wire as possible, as short as possible, and. Um, oh, and so the, the, the probe length meaning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Also, uh, I've already done quite a number of welds on this. Um, I can show you the battery. Oh shit. Sorry, sorry. It's screwed on right now. Can't, can't show, can't show. Okay. 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 Okay.